Are you struggling with a slow website and not sure how to solve this problem, even though it's costing you time, energy, money, resources, and even revenue? Don't worry. In this video, I'm going to give you five of the easiest tips that even beginners can implement on their website to improve their website's speed significantly. Let's get started. The first thing that you can do to improve your website speed is to choose a great hosting provider. A hosting provider is like an engine for your website. Regardless of whatever you do, if the engine is not strong, it's going to have a little effect on the overall speed of your website. And maybe this is the reason you've tried everything, but your website doesn't get faster. Hosting. So here's what to do. If you're looking to build a website, choose a great hosting provider. We recommend Bluehost, SiteGround and Hostinger for most beginners. And the benefit is that if you use any of these hosting providers through our special link, which will be linked in the description and also in the pinned comment, you'll get a special deal. You'll get a reduced price for an entire year. And also you get a domain name for absolutely free. So it's a no brainer deal that you can get and build your website, which will be very, very fast. And if you have an existing website, but your hosting provider is not giving you great performance, then you can always move to the hosting providers that I just recommended. It's actually pretty easy if you use duplicate the plugin. All you have to do is create a backup of your website on the first hosting provider, transfer the backup over to the second hosting provider, and the entire website will be transferred over. Now, this is not a video where I give you a technical explanation of how to do it. So make sure to check the description of this video where I link a video on how to actually perform that. It's pretty easy. Even beginners can do it. And now if you're wondering, how do I actually check if my website is now faster? Well, there are website testing tools exactly for that scenario. I'll link two tools in the description. The first one is a tool by a website called Is it WP. It's a more easy tool so that everybody can understand the data. It lists out load times and some other important data based on which you can understand how fast your website is. The second one is called GT Metrics and it's designed mostly for professionals so that you can diagnose and go deeper inside what's causing your website's performance to be slow. Everything I've mentioned will be linked in the description of this video, so go check it out. The second big factor that can cause a website to be really, really slow is an unoptimized theme. The theme can be like the chassis of the car. As I mentioned, the hosting can be the engine. So if you fix the engine, but your chassis is too heavy or unoptimized or not aerodynamic, then it can still cause your website to be quite slow. That's why having an optimized theme that is designed from the ground up for speed is absolutely important. There are a lot of good themes available in the market, but our personal recommendation goes to the Sydney theme by A Themes. It's a fantastic theme. It has a lot of different visual styles. It has tons of starter templates available. That means you're not stuck with a specific visual style. You can choose off any of the starter templates to give your website a completely new feel. It also has a header and footer builder, so you can design your headers and footers visually with ease. And it has all the other features that you'll need to create a beautiful website of your dreams. It's also blazing fast, so we've got that covered too. You can check out the Sydney theme from the links in the description and I'll leave some links in the pinned comment for you as well. The next big important change you should make on your website to ensure great performance is with respect to images. We've already covered the engine of the car, which is the hosting. We've covered the chassis of the car, which is the theme, but the images on your website can be the luggage that you carry in the car. Even if you have a great engine, great chassis, but you overload your car with tons of luggage, it's still going to be slow. And that's the equivalent of what images can do on your website. Images are one of the heaviest things on a web page. While a typical web page might be 50 to 100 kilobytes, a single image can be multiple megabytes in size if not handled correctly. Now, if you go to any stock website, which is free, or you license some images, or you click images yourself with a professional camera or with a smartphone, these images will be very, very big in size and resolution, which are not required by website. But maybe you didn't know and you directly start uploading those images on your website, which overload your server and cause your website to slow down. But the fix is also simple. Just have to have an image management plugin that does the heavy lifting for you. Our recommendation is EWWW Image Optimizer. If you install the plugin on your site, every new image that you upload will automatically be compressed and resized to the right dimensions. So you're not wasting bandwidth on any of these images. Plus, you can also go back and optimize all the previous images that you uploaded to your website. So you don't have to do any manual work, which saves you a lot of time. The plugin has a free version, which you can find in the link in the description. It also has a premium version where it gives you additional features and additional options to configure. So check out the free version of EWWW from the link in the description and also in the pinned comment. The next big important change you should make on your website to ensure great performance is with respect to plugins. Now, whenever we talk about plugins, the first instinct for most beginners is that, oh, maybe I have too many plugins installed. Well, the truth is that it's never the quantity of the plugins, it's always the quality of the plugins. I've done a video on this channel previously. I'll link that here and I'll show a clipping on that 
And in that video, I revealed how many plugins were big websites actually using. At that point of time, when I recorded that video, WP Beginner had 79 plugins installed. So it's never the quantity of the plugins, it's always the quality of the plugins you should install. Now, what defines quality? It's a subjective thing, but you should always check if the plugin has been made by a reputed publisher, if they have a history of making great plugins, if it's been highly rated, and if it's getting regular updates, then very likely it's a high quality plugin. And you can install that plugin safely on your site without affecting performance. And if you want to be absolutely sure, there are some plugins on the market, different kinds of plugins that help you measure the impact of specific plugins on the market as well. One of them is I think WP Query. I'll leave some links in the description of plugins you can use to measure every plugin's impact on your website in terms of speed. If you want to get into more technical implementations on how to improve website speed, then this video will be helpful. Once again, you're watching Yuvraj from Dub Beginner. Do subscribe to our channel for more website building and optimizing advice. I'll see you in the next video really soon. Take care.